Hey friends, hello. hello from Henry. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Easter weekend. We are in the kitchen. We are going to be baking from the Baker's Bible. That's right, the Pillsbury, the complete book of baking. Bible? Uh, yeah, because it has like every delicious recipe. Cakes, pies, cookies, that's, that's bars, it is really good. I found this at Valley Village a couple years ago for like five bucks, oh sorry, six bucks six bucks and it's the best cookbook for desserts um so we're gonna be making carrot cake no cheesecake carrot cake. no carrot cake although we are we are going to be having cheesecake at nana's so yeah but we are making carrot cake um but we do have cheesecake out coming to room temperature i know, I know that for for what Smack my mom. Oh, the spoon. Yeah, smack my mom. Oh my gosh. Life with boys. Um, but the cheesecake is for um, the icing. So let's get ready. I have everything out that I need. Um, the only thing that is included in the recipe is pineapples, crushed pineapples. But Henry doesn't like pineapples, unfortunately. So we're going to leave those out. But if you make this, I will tell you how much to put in. Um, I think it's like 18 ounces. Let me see. Uh, not 18 ounces. This is what the can is. This is 19 ounces. Um, the recipe calls for one 8 ounce can of crushed pineapple well drink. But unfortunately, he doesn't like pineapple, so we're going to save this for when we have pizza. Yeah. All right. So um, I'll aim you guys down and uh, let's take a cake. All right. So first up is two and a half cups of flour. Well, that's good. I just dumped in a new bag. Well, I don't do it. Yeah, you can both do one. Okay, oh, here. <laughs> Grab the cup. Put in the mouth? Uh oh, it's <laughs> up to you, I, I don't think you want to put flour in your Raining mouth. Raining flour. Raining flour. Okay. I have one. And cup number two. Why? Um. I think clean up an L5. All right, so that's the flour. All right, two teaspoons of baking soda. Who wants to do this one? Me. Me. Well, you can do the next one. There's two. Fun tasty carrots. <laughs> no. In the bowl. Thank you. And one more. Oh, come on, easy. There you go. When I'm baking, go in my mouth. Oh, no, you don't, you don't <laughs> want to put that in your mouth. You want to put the carrot cake in your mouth. All right, one teaspoon of salt. Um, go. Good job. Okay, you can also add one teaspoon of cinnamon but that's optional we're just going to leave that out what's that oh i'm just mixing the baking soda and flour together oh, all right two cups of sugar henry <coughs> i'm trying to get it in the bowl There we go. I have more sugar in the cupboard, so I will fill this up. Waning Google. Okay, so one cup of oil, two teaspoons of vanilla. There goes my voice. I need more vanilla. Oh, I just spilt some of my book. All right, and uh, two eggs. One for you. Uh, egg? One I love for you. eggs. Okay, crack them. 
and a two cup shredded carrots <sighs> and a half a cup of raisins. But I got them. I got pizza jelly in it. Did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got it. All right, good. Here, here's paper towel. Okay. Here next. Crack. Okay. Good job. Good. Oh. Don't want that, but. <laughs> No, I don't like eggshell in my cake. Pasta. I, I eat them all the time. So. I think it's a half a cup. Yeah, just give me a sec. Alright, so I am ready to pour. I'm using a bunt pan. It's been a while since I've used this bunt pan. I would love to put pineapple in here. It would be so good with pineapple. But somebody won't like it with pineapple. Maybe one day he'll like pineapple. Just not today. Holy moly! Holy moly, that look good. Okay. Oh, you, you can have enough to fill it or open up. No, it only goes halfway. It's going to rise. I sprayed it really well. Oh, it rises? Yeah, it rises. It will rise and puff up. Well, it'll, it'll be out of it, out of a cup. Like you need to always do a cup. <laughs> we'll puff up too after we eat it. <laughs> uh. And then it will melt in our right. gummies. Yeah, in our gummies. All right, so it goes in the oven for 50 to 60 minutes. So this cookbook has two different carrot cake recipes in it. The one I did was carrot cake with creamy coconut frosting. Um, but guess who doesn't like coconut? <laughs> yeah, Henry. Um, so, but the other recipe is carrot cake pineapple cake. Um, but this one has a light creamy frosting that doesn't include coconut. So we're going to use the frosting recipe of the other carrot cake recipe. And that's just four ounces of cream cheese, two tablespoons of margarine, one cup of powdered sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And mix it together and yeah. Uh, that's that one. No, the other one is, if you want the other one, creamy coconut frosting, is one package, eight ounces of cream cheese, two and a half cups of powdered sugar, six tablespoons of margarine or butter softened, two teaspoons of vanilla, and one cup of coconut, and also a half a cup of chopped nuts, but that's optional. So, yeah. Okay, so while that's cooking, I'm going to start on the frosting. An hour later, and the carrot cake is done. I'm going to let it cool. And I have the frosting, cream cheese frosting, ready to slather on there. Ooh. But first, we'll let it cool. Ooh. Hello from Henry. What do you think? That's you, My house. Be careful, it's hot. Oh my God. 
Ice tank can fix everything, right? Okay. <laughs> um, it did not want to come out. It was sticking to the bottom, so it kind of came out in two and a half pieces. Um, so I put it back together, just like Humpty Dumpty, and but cake version. And we'll slap some icing on it, and it will be pretty once again. And plus, I mean, you're going to cut into it and break it up anyways, and you're going to eat it, so... But it does taste good. I guess the cooking spray from Dollarama isn't the best because um, I used this pan before. And that's the first time anything stuck to it. And so, but it does good. And we'll eat the crumbs here. Um, yum. Yeah, it just did not want to come out of the pan. But it's um, really good. Uh huh. Oh. And it'll be even better with the cheesecake icing. Not cheesecake, cream cheese icing. I have che cheesecake on the brain now. Yep. Oh, uh, right here. All right, the racer. Yeah. Right there. Up where? Right here. Okay, right, so I'm gonna ice in this up. Try to make it look pretty, or try my best to ice in it. And the icing is really good. <laughs> I like the beater, so yeah, <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Voila! So with some icing and some Easter sprinkles from Dollar Tree, and they are shaped like a duck, not a duck, a chick. There goes one. <laughs> Minus one chick. Um, I think I got these at Dollar Tree. Maybe last last year. It could have been last year. And I just remembered I had them. And it's like, you know what? Let's decorate the cake. Make it look a little bit cute. And voila. Here we go. Pretty darn cute. It looks delicious. Hello. Hello from Henry. I'm going to put it in the fridge. till we are ready to eat it. But yes. Um, after dinner. <laughs> right now <laughs> well we can eat the crumbs we can eat this uh we'll snack on that but yeah looks good looks cute so in the end it turned out like yeah it did not want to come out it stuck and um i honestly thought well this is a fail but nope it turned around it did a u-turn and uh i just put it together like i said like humpty dumpty and icing and easter sprinkles from dollar tree does wonders yeah <laughs> well good morning happy Saturday so um yeah I made the cake yesterday and I was also planning on doing the egg coloring and egg hunt yesterday um, but ran out of steam because with being under the weather that happens and you guys could probably tell I was so stuffed up yesterday and oh my gosh like after I did the cake um, we had dinner shortly after we had the fish and chips which I won't be buying again because you don't get a lot and the pizzas are small I could have probably picked um, a different box of fish and got more pieces but um, that's how you find out and it was still good but yeah usually on good friday we get our fish um to go take out but um at like a restaurant or something but we um all eat fish that's like one meal that both boys absolutely love it's a meal i absolutely love there's mr woodpecker <laughs> yeah looking for bugs to go with his coffee speaking of coffee if you have any more cup of coffee cheers here's the wonderful day um so 
<laughs> Woody the Woodpecker. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it just, it would have been, like, too much money for all of us to get a meal. And we would have to, like, you know, like, when the boys first started to eat when they were just toddlers, we would buy one meal for them and split it up and it would be enough. But since they're bigger and they have bigger appetites, they can eat a whole takeout, you know, with your fish and fries. And you get, like, one piece of fish or you get two pieces of fish, you pay more. Um, but it's just, like... It was just, it was as it would have been as much as going to McDonald's and going to McDonald's is it's um pricey these days so yeah <laughs> so that's why it's like I'm doing the box fish now I think last year I went to Sobeys but being under the weather I did not feel like going to Sobeys I was like one stop and you know no frills and that was it and jiggly jig home I went <laughs> yeah so uh, but yeah because I know um. So bits will have like good deals on fish around Easter. So but it was still good, but it was just like the pieces were small. Um and yeah, and like I was gonna do like the egg hovering, but I just I ran out of steam. I was so stuffed up. I after after um dinner I went to just lie down upstairs to relax and do a little bit better today, so I'm hoping to be better tomorrow. We did have plans to go to my lot today, but we had to cancel because you know we are under the weather and you know what? That happens. Why? I mean, me and I'll be were talking. It's like this happened at Christmas. You know, um, Henry was sick over Christmas, and Henry was also sick the other day. Um, what night was it? He had a he had a sore ear. He had an earache because oh my gosh! And the kicker was he was just at the doctor's. He had a doctor's appointment Thursday. It was Thursday because he was complaining of a sore throat. So being the good parents that we are, okay, you're complaining of a sore throat. Last time he had a sore throat, it was strep throat. So we went him, we took him to the doctor. You know, better to be safe than sorry. And the doctor said, no, he's fine. And, uh, you know, just take Tylenol or, you know, Advil. It's like, okay. And later that night, his ear was bugging him and it was really hurting. He was in pain. And, and this is at night time when clinics are closed walk-in clinics and he was just at the doctor's um but they weren't bugging him when the, he was at the doctor's and his doctor um he's a really good doctor he did check his ears and there was nothing wrong with them so you know that was the kicker that was the kicker it's like later when he comes home his ear ear hurts and i figured you know what it's probably because you didn't have your hoodie on your jacket and it was windy out it was the wind the wind made your ears sore and I didn't want to go get like the drops at the pharmacy because those drops are twenty dollars. I bought them before, and you only use them once, and that's it. Um, so I called my mom. I'm like, is there any anything that helps? Like any home remedies? And she said, try warm oil and a cotton ball. So I did that, and it worked. His ear is his ear is good. So it's like okay, good because I didn't want to. I I would have if I had to. Obviously, and Shoppers is open till like ten o'clock. But, you know, I was trying to avoid spending $20 because, oh, I know, and I, I know, I know why you're paying for because it's medicated, it drops, you know, but it's, it's just like a ripoff, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, we've just been, you know, everybody's been, like, sick one way or the other, except for Casey, you know, knock on wood, knock on wood for me, Mr. Woodpecker. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, so I had to film um, Thursday. I filmed that video to go up um, today, Saturday, because I wanted to get that filmed and post it on YouTube. I didn't want to wait till after Easter, so I thought, okay, well, I'm gonna I want to film doing the carrot cake, which is really good, and um, film doing our Easter eggs and our egg hunt. So that will be later today. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, I'm kind of glad I had a video planned already to go, and I could just finish this one. Yeah. Yeah. Because then we'll do the egg hunt. The only one time that the kids can go look for something and find it is when it's an egg hunt, when it involves chocolate. They're motivated by chocolate like their mother. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. It's great motivation. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, what what is it with every holiday, like every holiday, you know, somebody is sick. And it's like, enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's beautiful today. The sun is out, birds are chirping, 
woodpecker is getting his early worms to go with his coffee. And yeah, breakfast will be served pretty soon. And yeah. So hopefully everything will be fine tomorrow for my mom's fingers crossed. Um, if not, you know, we'll get a, a doggy bake to go. Yeah, or I'll drop off the kids because they're absolutely fine. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully. Cause maybe you just need one more day. One more day and a lot of coffee. <laughs> mm. But I don't feel as stuffed up. Like I was stuffed up. I was running nose. I kept blowing my nose and it was so annoying and I was like, okay, I'm over this, you know. I might not have gotten like a cold as bad as a hubby did, but I did get some of his cold. But I was still miserable as heck, you know. It's like, I don't have time for this poop. I got poop to do, you know. And I still did poop, yeah. I know, but not as much as I wanted to, so, yeah. Oh, my yeah. Life, I tell you, she's a peach. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, like Lightning McQueen says, life's a, pe uh, a beach. Yeah. We'll just use that. Yeah, beach or peach. They both work. Uh, mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to drink my coffee, get some brekkie, and later on we'll do the eggs. I'm not sure what we're going to do first, egg hunt or coloring the eggs. I have to, I have to cook the eggs first, so I'll do that. And yeah, I think that is it. And yeah, yeah, I think that's it. So it is a little bit chilly outside. So we will do the egg hunt. We, we usually do the egg hunt inside, anyways. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll warm up in the afternoon. I could do it outside because it would just make it a lot more easier to toss the eggs out here. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I'll probably we'll end up doing them inside. But yeah. <sighs> yep, so anyway, so that'll be next. I'm not sure which one, but one of those egg activities will be next. Alright, so I'm in the back porch area. The boys want to do the egg hunt. So, um, if you watched my vlog a couple, two, three vlogs ago, a vlog once upon a time ago <laughs> in a galaxy far, far away, um, I already got a head start and filled up the eggs, the plastic eggs, and there's 22 each for them to find, but I have to add some special chocolate, and I have not opened these yet, I have been good, I have been behaved to myself, um, but now that tomorrow's Easter, um, yes, <laughs> we could help ourselves, yeah, um, Hershey Whoppers, I got two bags of these at Dollar Rio, because one bag ain't gonna be enough, and of course, everybody's favorite, especially Henry's and mini eggs. So I'm gonna add, and oh, once these were open, you might as well say goodbye to them because they're not gonna last long. <laughs> because he, Henry doesn't know that I have these yet, so yeah. <laughs> and once he discovers them, say bye-bye, <laughs> yeah, bye-bye. So I'm gonna fill these ones up, not the gold ones. Oh, I might put a few of the gold ones. Um, and here's the other one. So I'm gonna get busy doing that and then um yeah egg hunt and i still have to hard boil the eggs yeah that's just we're, we're slowly getting there <laughs> all right so mission accomplished um every egg is full with a little bit extra goodness and the boys didn't know where i was they didn't know what i was doing so hip hip hooray <laughs> mom win <laughs> yeah and they did not find they did not find the candy because if they came back here while I was doing this. <laughs> well, there goes the candy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I filled them up. Now they already had a milk chocolate egg from Walmart. So I did like one of each in some of them. Um, the smaller ones have too many eggs. Um, the golden ones, I did two of each. Two whoppers and two mini eggs, and then in the bigger ones, I did I think a whopper. So yeah, so we're looking pretty good, and I'm glad I bought two bags of the whoppers because that's the first bag and it's, it's half gone because I used them to fill some eggs. But let me show you, Wowzers, that's a good size whopper. That's like two whoppers right there. Mm. 
I love Easter candy. I mean, there's so much to choose from. Mm, they're so good. Mm. And plus, plus. I also have these jelly beans. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> I'm not putting these in eggs though. I'll put this out later in a candy dish. Yeah. Me maybe. The jury's still out. <laughs> Alright, so we decided to do the egg hunt outside since it is a little bit warmer than it was this morning. I have the hubby's jacket on because my sweater is upstairs and I know it, I did not feel like going upstairs for it. No. Uh, but it's actually uh, not as cool as I thought it would be. And they're at the window. They're going to be peeking. The hello from Henry. <laughs> right there. That's the only disadvantage of hiding them outside. You know, you can peek through the window. Um, but I'm doing it outside this year. Usually I do it inside and they hide upstairs. But I'm still getting caught up on housework. The living room is kind of a mess. And I haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, that's what happens when you're sick and the hubby's sick and you're both under the weather. What gets done gets done and some stuff. Well, just waits in line to get done. So, yeah, I see you. So, we're going to hide them out here. Plus, it'll be easier for me to film out here. So, let's um, hide some Easter eggs and uh, find a good spot for the gold one. Because this one has to be hard to find. Yeah. Oh, I hope you guys can hear the woodpecker. <laughs> he's at it again. Okay, he's not gonna hide one. Right here. <sighs> Perfect. Oh, stay put. Thank you. Good job. Perfect. There we go. There. Now, that's good. Okay. I'm still in the first bucket, guys. But I'm also filming, so. <laughs> Toss some in there. That's, oop, why I just, I just opened the one. Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll fix it. There we go. He's all put back together. I'm not sure if I toss these too far, if they will break open. Probably. Okay, I am almost, almost done. This is the second bucket. And that's good. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, another accident. Oh, no. Oh, shoot, that second roll. Don't tell. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you guys really quick where I put them. So here's two, I got some over here, but it's no shovel in the garden, by the window, toot 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 on the car, in the window, in the bucket, in the window, in the garden, don't mind me, and Along the fence, on the grass, chair. I put the other golden one right there. And in our little garden. This is where we're going to be putting taco once we get out here and clean up after winter. And I'm going to fix that up really nice for her. And yeah, these ones right here were perfect to put right on the fence. Perfect. 
yeah okay we're ready <laughs> you you get the advantage because you're the first one out or waiting for Henry oh there he is as usual hang on oh that's okay just put it in your bucket okay Henry already found his gold one so oh some eggs came out good uh, I hit it really well. Where do we cook food outside? I guess so. <laughs> I figured I would have to give him a hint. Yeah! You're missing some. Henry, I mean, Casey. Casey. Yeah, there you go. All right, I think you got them all. <laughs> and that's a wrap on Easter egg hunt 2023. And uh, I think somebody overfilled his bucket. I need to give some to his brother. <laughs> and right to the Kinder Egg. Your favorite chocolate. I was just thinking I could have put an egg here, but these ones are too small. And the gold one would have been perfect, but that would have been way too easy for them to find. And I did give Casey a clue because he wouldn't find it. <laughs> he wouldn't know. <laughs> I can't it. Okay, it was kind of hard, but it was a very good spot to put the golden egg. Will I be able to do that again next year? We'll see, because I might remember. I, I so it was a beautiful day actually, it turned out I'm actually getting hot in this. Um, I think weather permitting, we all do it outside, and so it's just a lot easier. And they get to run around, get fresh air. And yeah, there was even a couple they missed that um, walking by, I was like, um, I think you missed a few. <laughs> yeah, just the, the excitement, right? Yeah. I um missed. The one on the car. Yeah, he did. That was the one and he missed. One on the car. But it will go easy to use. Yeah. But I missed it. You missed it. I had to point out. Um, so Henry does not like the Whoppers. So Casey will get the Whoppers. I, I don't know why. It go good. Yeah, I agree. They are good. The blue ones turn turn your tongue blue when you have too many. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how I know that though. <laughs> Um, and so I'm just putting everything else in the gold egg that I know he likes, but Casey will get the Whoppers, or some of them he will anyways. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, some might not make it. It really is nice out. Mm -hmm. Turned out to be a beautiful day. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go through these so I can put away the plastic eggs. I don't want empty egg. Rude. And they will give it for you, chick. <laughs> you care for a chick? <laughs> oh, there's a plastic egg on the ground. I missed one. <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm going to end the vlog. I think this vlog is long enough. And we still have to. Um, do our eggs, dye them, and everything. YouTube. <laughs> Coffee or Stephanie. <laughs> and yeah, to YouTube it's a bird. Um, so we still have to, to do that. And what I probably will do, because I need a break right now. <laughs> Doing the egg hunt outside was fun, but all that fresh air poops you out. So I'm going to take a break and start to edit this video but I do know it's um, long enough and when we do our eggs which are cooked by the way they are on a stove just waiting to um, get a pretty you know egg shell on them and I'm gonna pick this up right now <laughs> and uh, yeah oh there's another one underneath the table I am not going that low <laughs> If I go that low, I'm not going to get off. <laughs> it's underneath the table. 
We're so away. Oh, and close the barbecue. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's right there. <laughs> I can stay there till next Easter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, I will, like, if we do the eggs later on, I think we'll probably do them maybe after in dinner, and because it's going on 3 o'clock right now, by the time I take a break, um, it's going to be dinner time, so probably after dinner, and I'll film it and just attach it to tomorrow's vlog, yeah, and tonight, my work isn't done, because tonight I have to put their baskets together and go bippity boppity boo and set up the table and make everything look cute and take a picture, take a clip <laughs> because once it's discovered in the morning, <laughs> yeah, it's like, what, what, what Easter baskets? Yeah, <laughs> what, it, there goes my table. It's nice and it's nice and set up and pretty and, and then destroyed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I love seeing the reactions and I cannot wait to see, to see the reactions tomorrow morning. So yeah, so I think for now I will say goodnight. Um, I hope everyone is having a wonderful Easter, happy Easter, and enjoy all the food, all the yummy desserts, and enjoy time with family and friends, and yeah, happy Easter, he is risen. <laughs> Alright guys, take care, be blessed, and uh, talk to you for now, bye.